Hi guys, welcome back to another Farm Sim 19 episode 82. 82, 82, 82, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I've just put some tweet on. That's why I'm a bit out of breath because I had to run back upstairs obviously because I had to put on time watch. Whew. I bet some people are thinking, why don't you should just take it downstairs with you? The, the time clock. No. But yeah, sometimes I have some to eat late on about 9 o'clock, something a bit later on, but they're you guys what you normally have it. But I don't think I'll be gaming much later tonight. It just depends if... Well, if, and if, and if, and if... I have me to you, well, have me to for 10 o'clock, so I might be back on about 11 if the camera charges up. Could possibly on 11 till half 12. If that all goes to plan, I think that's when I'll be back on half 10 till 12 or 1 o'clock. But then after that, I don't think I'll be doing any more streams until tomorrow. And what I do is basically I put them all in the. I'll put. Basically, what I do is I put all the streams in the folders, and the next couple of weeks, next week or so, I can just chill then. I can just upload them all in one day or something, two or three days. Uh, where's my truck? There we go. We're having risagna for our dinner, which I quite like. Ah, oh, definitely love risagna. The ones from Aldi, which are about, was it two pounds? Two pounds something sixty odd, I think, or something like that. I can't remember. Something around about that price. And yeah, I get I get them sometimes. A couple of them, I you know one two nights each each week or something. But that one meal just does me because it's just like basically one meal that comes in it. So yeah, it basically fills me up. This will probably be the last stream today or maybe you don't maybe later on beyond, just depends. Just depends and I won't be uploading these tonight. No way, I've got loads to upload, it'll be probably tomorrow or the next day. Probably Friday you got them all. Friday or Saturday. We would have been going to the Liverpool for the event, which I've not been to before. It's supposed to be a fun fair event, Christmas event. This always happens in Liverpool every year, but I saw the big event last year and I thought to myself, well, maybe this year we're going. But because of COVID-19, obviously it's all been off and that's another event that's got cancelled for me. I think about fine, uh, three or four venues have been cancelled for me, where I usually go to. Over Halloween and stuff like that, and over. But at least we managed to get to Blackpool and anyway and do that out the way this this month. Well, at the time I promised that I thought it was cancelled because when 
that day we went to the arcade, the over 18, it was just the over 18 that were going into lockdown. It wasn't actually Blackpool and I, that's what I thought at first. But then a week after we went on a Friday and then we went on the Wednesday to make up for it. Here goes the last four cotton builds and then we'll probably start selling them probably when we get a bit more money over the forestry and then we'll start selling them I think. But yeah, I'm a full-time YouTuber now. So yeah, that's what I'm kind of doing now for more often. Oh, I can't believe that that company actually let me down. Just because they let me off for seven weeks. Well, no pay, well we pay for seven weeks through the first lockdown. And then I went back, did basically four boring meetings, and they basically don't want me again. And they basically kept the same people on, just because they got the uniform on, like the new brand new uniform that's just come out in that place. So yeah, that's what they thought, you know, they probably did. They probably thought, you know what, the ones with the brand new shirts can stay, but then the ones who haven't got a shirt can just go. And it's, and yet, I'll tell the times that I was working on this Basically, it was like a food court where I used to work, and I used to basically collect all the trays off the table. And basically, I used to do all that all the time, and never used to Skype. Never, I used to come in every single day on time. Never been, never been late. Never been. I failed basically off the off the on my job, and then yeah, basically they got rid of me. It's a bit stupid, to be honest with you. But I don't know, because most of the time when there used to be the football used to be on. Yeah, basically one day, this one day, right, there was not a single manager around. And yeah, I was on the Fuqua all by myself until they went skiving. It just was bloody piss take. And yet they don't take into any consideration what people do, you know. Honest with you, if you like your job, then you shouldn't really take the piss, and you know, yeah, that's what I was kind of pissed off about. To be honest with you, I mean that's that's why that day I was proper pissed off. You know that day that I went to Media City and I filmed it, and I just, oh uh, yeah, proper pissed off. So basically gonna be getting a tandem trailer going on. 
because that's the only way of doing it. Basically, it used to go on the T12, they used to call it, on, in the, where I used to work, and yeah, I used to go in that and clean the floor quite a lot on it. It's basically a machine. Yeah. Basically, I got trained up, and yeah. Uh, there was this one day, I swear to God, it was just so hilarious to try to blame it on me, like... It's like this one day, somebody tried to blame on me at work. Basically, they thought I actually kicked the chair, like knocked the chair over with a machine. But basically, I never do, I never would do that, and I would tell somebody if I did that. And basically, I knocked it over by mistake. Well, I didn't, didn't knock it over. Like, but somebody tried to blame me on that and pay me on that, so as I couldn't go on the machine again. So I basically told him that I never would do that and if I'd knock something it would generally wouldn't be, you know, wouldn't be accidental. So then they got this thing against me so you'd have to sign on a phone so you could get on the machine. Basically I thought after that when they stopped bring that out I thought, you know, I can't be bothered to use the machine anymore when it comes to, you know. I know George, yeah, he used to work, he's, he works there so hard there, so shout out to you George if you're watching. You know, I'll be in touch with you soon George. Once it's all gone down, we'll have a game of pool. Yeah, you should just keep watching George. Because as soon as this is all gone down mate, we'll soon be going out for a pool when we can arrange it sometime mate. So what, it's going to be impressive. It's nearly there now, it's nearly full. Yeah, look at it, look at the size of these bloody things. I bet you are thinking, well, we should have left the last four on the trailer. Well, no, I should have done, but I'd rather see how much we have got first. Come on, don't start falling down. the one. I'm gonna try and hope the best it's not gonna blur out when we go back to that arcade with this GoPro. I might just use my phone. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna use my phone because it's 33 minutes better and I've got that handle now so I can use that on that one as well. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what we will be doing once these arcades start open up again. We're gonna do a 33 minute video. 
Don't forget to like and share and hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, guys. And hit the subscribe button. I'll be much appreciated. Thank you for support. The support. Try to get my words out sometimes. But yeah. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, it helps me out a little bit. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.